Hey guys, what's up? It's Zola and this evening's very exciting. We're going to be starting to look at After Effects, so a completely new series in Mastery. We've pretty much covered everything in Photoshop now and you should have, if you've watched all of them, a pretty good understanding of how Photoshop works. Uh, if you haven't and you're going to start the After Effects course, I highly recommend you go back and watch them just in case there's a lot of things that I'm going to be um, referring to in the After Effects course where I'm just going to assume you know it from the Photoshop course. I'm not going to take any time to explain myself or repeat anything I've done in the course because for the people who have watched those videos there's going to be a lot of me repeating myself and I don't want to do that and like I said at the start of the Photoshop course I really think that knowing Photoshop really well is actually um, quite a good way to get into After Effects because a lot of the things relate there's a lot of similar features um, as someone in the comments described, Photoshop is basically just After Effects with like keyframes, animation basically. And that's a good way to look at it. We're just going to take what we learned in Photoshop one step further and add animation to the process. So um, in this first video, I'm not really going to go into After Effects too much. I'm just going to try and explain what the program does, what I use it for, and give you an overview of what can be achieved with the program basically and that way just kind of like I did with the Photoshop course and then that way you'll have a good idea of what we're going to get into as we get going. So um, here I own a company with my friend called Impossible Brief. We do a lot of work for the Chainsmokers as you'll probably know and uh, a bunch of other stuff and it's me and a couple of friends. We direct music videos as well and worked on some pretty cool stuff but uh, what I want to says if you have a look here we have a, a showreel and a showreel is basically like a CV but um, in video form I guess. So here I am in After Effects I've basically managed to get it so that my whole screen is just um, sorry the whole of After Effects is on one screen this isn't how I usually work um, usually I have two monitors and I will shift my timeline off onto the second monitor but for the sake of you guys seeing what I'm doing and also trying to keep the layout of the program as close to what it will probably look like on your computer if you've just installed it out of the box. Um, I'm going to try and keep the layout the same as that so um, just mention that going forward. So uh, here I have our showreel, the one I mentioned here, you can watch it here on our site and um, let's take a look at some of the stuff that I've done in Photoshop, So um, uh, in After Effects sorry so uh, a lot of this, so this first one for example is these particle effects were uh, animated in, in After Effects with um, with a plugin called Particular which doesn't actually come with the program but um, if anyone has ever used After Effects it's one which is used like it's basically the go-to um, plugin to create particle effects in these kinds of programs and then we have this like little lens flare and element which is all created in After Effects as well. So that's one effect that you can create in the program. Uh, so you know there's no 3D there, this is all done in After Effects literally. And uh, here we have a few shots of us directing so not so much any stuff there. This logo is made in C4D so let's maybe ignore that. A lot of this was done in Nuke so we're not going to be touching on that stuff here and um, this cloud I did at the mill and it's a really simple thing I just created this hand element and it's kind of hard to see on this shot but what I essentially did is in Photoshop I painted a um, hand made of clouds and then in After Effects I animated the fingers kind of closing so it looks like as you come towards this chip like this this cloud hand is actually um, about to take a chip from the sign and the shot was actually a bit longer than that but it got cut in the edit but um, as you can see there what kind of happens. This I did at MPC, this was this was a lot more Cinema 4D. This shot right here is, um, it is a 3D shot and it was done in Cinema 4D but a lot of the effects, like all the cool stuff like the shockwave and this lighting and um, these white lines and this kind of fire element and all the lighting and all these little particles, everything composited in After Effects. So uh, if I showed you the raw render, and um, I don't know if I have it on my computer because I did it at Glassworks, but if I could show you the raw render of what the shot looked like before it went into After Effects, I can I can tell you like without any doubt that it looked pretty crap. 
and uh, it goes to show like the kind of stuff you can do in After Effects if you have um, good knowledge in compositing. Uh, same here with this kind of stuff in um, on my reel for Grosh. Um, so these kind of lens flares and the depth of field and the particles and this kind of like glowing effect was all added in After Effects. Um, so if you know a 3D program, After Effects can be really, really handy. Like this kind of stuff doesn't look amazing coming out of um, 3D, but if you know what you're doing in After Effects and you have the right passes, you can really add like 50% to a shot. And I've done that here again, adding all this blur in the depth and the particles and the glows and the, the kind of color correction is all done in After Effects. So really versatile um, program. Um, well, this was this was um, again like all this kind of stuff gets finished in After Effects. These renders that we did out of 3D didn't look anywhere near as impressive. We you have to add all the glows and the lighting and uh, there's so much power. And I uh, towards the end of the course maybe I'll um, push out some 3D renders and then show you guys like what can be done. I'll show you my compositing workflow and maybe uh, give you guys a challenge like give you all the same renders and see if anyone can do anything interesting with them. So uh, same here, this kind of stuff all comes out of 3D, but to add the lights and the particles and all, all that kind of stuff and the lens flares and uh, even this light here around the rim here was added in After Effects. You'd think that was done in 3D, but because the, um, so this ring was in Cinema 4D, but we made, the glow, we made it glow in After Effects and then um, this kind of light which is emanating from the ring is actually uh, done 100% in After Effects. So uh, all this kind of cut up stuff we did for um, a music video. After Effects, again no 3D there. So it goes to show like just having a look uh, all this kind of UI information stuff was actually this was done in 3D, this was done in 3D and then all this was added in After Effects. But again, composited in After Effects, add the depth of field and the blur and all that kind of stuff. Um, all this was entirely After Effects apart from the model. Uh, this trail, again, particular in After Effects. Uh, this stuff is obviously more advanced and that was not done in After Effects. Uh, this scene composited 100% in After Effects, so um, what this was was for a Peroni campaign and it was going for cinema and uh, this was the original shot I was given and they felt that it didn't look dramatic enough and also they shot this in spring and the <laughs> the advert was coming out in the autumn so they were like oh can we change all the leaves from green to like more autumn colors I was like oh yeah yeah cool that's fine uh, this sign wasn't big enough for their liking um, so this was actually what the shot finished like uh, so I grabbed all these mountains from another shot uh, which was taken for the same advert uh, it's literally a still obviously and then I placed it behind the background here and then I changed all the colors of the leaves to um, golds and oranges and if you've watched the Photoshop course you should have a pretty good idea of how I did that it was largely hue and saturation um, but yeah, really fun project. And then this sign was literally like, just kind of like scaling it up because it's not really moving. So that wasn't too hard. Um, this kind of stuff, this was actually done in, what was it done? Fo Photoshop and After Effects, this one. All these, you see all these patterns here generated 100% in After Effects. No, um, no third party required. So I guess what I'm trying to say with this kind of stuff is, again, all the glows here on this table, After Effects. Uh, that is obviously a 3D render, but all the glows and the lights and the lens flare added in After Effects. And this was really painful job. I literally had to paint in all the lights in Photoshop and then animate them on in a kind of sequence that looked like the city of Dubai was coming alive and that one took forever cool so um that's yeah you know we're coming up to 10 minutes i know it was just kind of me kind of chatting over my work which might not seem particularly exciting but i just wanted to give you a um a range of ideas as to what the program can actually accomplish and a lot of people might just think it's for adding effects or just color correction but it can do so much more than that and especially in the last two three years with 
plugins such as Element and uh, some of the track code plugins you can now import 3D geometry and it can kind of integrate with After Effects in fact um, After Effects itself is has a built-in like junior version like a baby version of Cinema 4D now so it kind of speaks really well to Cinema 4D so like the, the program has come along leaps and bounds since I started using probably just over 10 years ago now which is After Effects 7 so it's going to be an exciting course and uh, I hope you enjoy it and try and follow along with all the lessons. I know some of them might seem more trivial than others and, you know, they might not all be exciting. But believe me, like the stuff I'm teaching you in the course is when you add it all together, there's good. I wouldn't be teaching you stuff if I didn't think it was going to be useful at one point. I'm not just going to explain every feature in After Effects that's not the way I teach. The way I teach is I just teach you things that I think will be and are useful. So um, just bear that in mind when when you see a video come up that you might not think is particularly interesting. Um, and that's it for today. Um, hopefully we'll get started in the next one. Uh, again, we'll start at the very, very basics. So uh, I'll make sure no one is lost at the start. So even if you have no experience with After Effects, uh, you should be good to follow along and if you do have experience with After Effects then you might have to be patient because it might be a while before we get into some of the stuff but who knows you might have missed a couple of things along the way and I'll try and uh, try and keep it as fun as possible so um, that's it for today as a special treat because I've started getting more subscribers I have re-uploaded Legacy but in 1080p it should be up now on the channel so um, if you've seen my montages and uh, enjoyed Legacy. I think this is now the only place on the internet that has it in 1080p on my channel. So go ahead and check that out. And uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as you did the first time. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the first lesson.